thank you very much for clicking on this video in this video i will be exposing you to uh, work practical chemistry 2021 and i group these in sessions and each of the sessions has something important to expose to you and i wish that you can watch all of them and make sure you watch them to the end it is necessary because there are some information that you need to see in each of these videos The question as seen on the screen is A is a solution of hydrochloric acid of unknown concentration, B is a standard solution of sodium hydroxide containing 4.8 gram per dm cube. 25 centimeter cube of solution B requires an average volume of solution A for complete neutralization using methyl orange indicator. Tablet your bullet readings and calculate the average volume of A used. You can see the table on the screen already and the calculations of the uh, average volume of solution A used. From your results and information provided, now answer the following. A, write a balance equation for the reaction. To be frank with you, uh, work. Uh, don't ask such questions, but it's just important that you learn to write a balanced equation of such uh, reaction. B, calculate I, concentration of B in mole per dm cube. I, I, concentration of solution A in mole per dm cube. I, 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 concentration in gram per dm cube of hydrochloric acid in solution A. I, V, state the reason why methyl orange is used or why is methyl orange used we are going to treat this one after the other we go we are asked to write uh, the balance equation of a reaction between hydrochloric acid with sodium hydroxide this reaction is going to give us sodium chloride still in water because sodium chloride is soluble in water that is why the aqueous is there and uh, water is uh, denoted by the letter L uh, as liquid. And if you look at the coefficient of all these are just one, 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 one. This is the acid and this is the base. That means that Na from this is going to be one and Nb from this is going to give us one. Therefore, I have actually treated the question one A for you. Now let's go for question B, I. The question B, I asks us to calculate the concentration of B in mole per dm cube. The mass of solution B given to us is 4.8 gram in 1 dm cube. That means that the mass concentration can be, that is, mass of the solute given in grams all over volume of the solution given in dm cube. Now, if we have this, the answer is going to give us there is a relationship between mass concentration and concentration in mole per dm cube, which we have it as inserting the values we will have 4.8 all over 40. I know you'll be asking, how do I get this 40? Okay, 40 is from the molar mass of sodium hydroxide, which as you can see on the screen, sodium is 23, oxygen is 16, hydrogen is one so if we add it together we will have it as 40. with our calculator 4.8 all over 40 will give us okay this 4.8 is in gram per dm cube yeah, this 40 is in gram per mole the first possible question has been answered now let's go for the bii the bii since we have actually gotten our cb and we already know our Na and B, which is equal to one from the balanced equation. And also we know our VA, 
to be 28.6. That is approximately to three significant figure. Okay. Knowing this, we can actually look for the concentration of solution A, which is CA, using the formula. This value is this. VA is the volume of the acid used, the average volume of the acid used. VP is the volume of the pipette, which is 25.00 cm3. Using the formula, CAVA all over CBVB equal to. Now, we are looking for CA. Therefore, we make CA the subject formula by carrying this as uh, cross multiplication. This multiply this, this multiply this. We will have multiply also applying. So, we can divide through by V, A, N, B. So, we have from this, we can see C, A standing alone. We will have inserting the values, we will have leaving it to three significant figure. Our answer can be that's our answer. But now you need to insert the unit. Mind you, you should always insert your unit. It is very, very important in this work. Since we have gotten the CA, that is concentration in mole per dm cube of the solution A, we also need to get the concentration in gram per dm cube. And we also relate the relationship we used before, which we have it as molar concentration equal to mass concentration all over molar mass. If we make mass concentration the subject formula, this molar mass will go over here. We will have mass concentration to be molar concentration times molar mass. Then we insert the values. The molar concentration we have here is 0 0.105 and molar mass of the solution is gotten by adding hydrogen relative atomic mass and chlorine relative atomic mass, which is 1 plus 35.5, which is going to give us 36.5. So we have, multiplying two of them together, we will have, okay, the last question has to do with uh, the reason why methyl orange was used. Methyl orange was used because it is a neutralization reaction that occurs between strong acid and strong base. Therefore, we can use any indicator. We can use phenolphthalein, we can use methyl red, we can use methyl orange. That is why we actually use that. Let's go for question number two. Solution of an acid HX denoted by A contains 3.8 grams of it per dm cube. Another solution B contains 0.12 moles of sodium hydroxide per dm cube of the solution. Put A in the bullet and titrate with 20 or 25 centimeter cube portion of B using methyl orange as indicator. Record the volume of your pipette tablet your burex readings and calculate the average volume of A used. You can see that already on the screen. From your results and information provided, calculate the A, the molar concentration of solution A, B, the relative molar mass of A, C, the value of X, and D, the number of mole in 25 centimeter cube of solution B. Having the balance equation, we can actually know that Na is equal to 1, Nb is equal to 1, and Vb is given to us as 25 centimeter cube from the pipette, and 28.6 is VVA from the average volume of acid used. And Cb is already given to us that it is 0 0.120 mole in 1 dm cube. That is the answer is 0 0.120 mole per dm cube. The only one that is not given to us is CA. This is a simple, straightforward question. Therefore, we are going to use formula straight because all the information we are giving to us. Using CAVA, CBVB equal to NA all over NB. Make CA the subject formula. We will have, inserting the values we will have, therefore our CA is, leaving it to three significant figures, we will have the answer to be. This is the same with putting the slash here. The second question in this is calculate the relative molar mass of A. From the question, they gave us that the concentration in gram per dm cube of solution A is 3.8 grams. And we have actually gotten the concentration in mole to be 0 0.105.
So we join it together. We are going to have molar mass relationship with concentration in gram per dm cube and concentration in mole per dm cube to be. This is the relationship. Actually, the first time I did, I will use molar concentration equal to concentration in gram all over molar mass. Now, if we interchange it, it will give us this. Now, we have all the values inserted. Concentration in gram per dm cube is what we heard from the uh, question or what we read from the question, which is 3.8. So, we have divided with this our concentration in mole per dm cube. The answer gives us, but we leave our answer to three significant figures. So we have question C asks us to find the value of X. To get the value of X, we need to have H plus S will give us 36.2 where H is hydrogen. X is the unknown element. Relative atomic mass. S will give us 35.2 gram per mole. Okay, the next question there is to find the amount of uh, solution B in 25 centimeter cube or uh, that is just we're going to use a proportion to do this we go uh, amount in mole of solution B in 25 centimeter cube of uh, that solution B therefore we are going to use uh, CA VA or CI VI equal to C2 V2 ideas so we go but here, the concentration is going to remain the same. If the concentration is going to remain the same, it means that C1 is equal to C2. Therefore, they cancel each other. What we will have left here will be V1 all over V2 equals to N1 all over N2. Where V1 is 1 dm cube, V2 is that 25 centimeter cube. If we convert it, it's going to give us 0.025 dm cube. The N1 is the 0 0.120 moles given to us in the question. We are the N2 is what we are actually looking for. Make N2 the subject formula. We will have 0 0.003 mole. Therefore, we have actually answered the question A, B, C, and D. Let's go for the last question. Question number three goes like solution A contains 3.82 grams of hydrochloric acid per 1 dm cube and solution B contains 7 grams of impure sodium hydroxide. Put A in the burette and titrate it with 20 centimeter cube or 25 centimeter cube portion of the using material range as indicator. Record the volume of your pipette, tablet your burette readings and calculate the average volume of A use as you can see on the screen all done for you. From your results and information provided, calculate the A concentration of solution B in mole per dm cube, concentration of solution B in gram per dm cube, percentage purity of solution B. Now I want you to understand that here I am trying to expose you to um, Percentage purity question. The first one was actually in a direct titration. The second one was a, a question that has to do with missing value or missing relative atomic mass or missing relative uh, uh, molecular mass. Then this last one is for the percentage purity. And in the last one, I actually try to compare uh, the amount that is present in that particular uh, 25 centimeter cube. They can still ask you to trace that in the 28.6. Uh, centimeter cube we have as our average volume it is possible but i don't want to go on that in this place if you have done that i did the first one and you understood it i believe you can do well the next one okay let's look at the solution to this okay we go concentration of solution b in mole per dm cube concentration of solution b in mole per dm cube uh what they are asking us here is molar concentration and for us to get this molar concentration if you check they have not given us any clue like uh, ca we don't have ca uh, we have va we have vb but we don't have a clear view of what our cb will look like because they say it's an impure solution therefore we need to go down to solution a which is pure uh actually which is standardized uh, solution in this question uh we need to first of all find the concentration of solution A in mole per dm cube. When we find that, we can actually use it to get whatever we are going to do. But for us to get this, we need to find the mass concentration of solution A, which will lead us to molar concentration. Therefore, the value given to us about the mass of the solution A is 3.82 grams in 1 dm cube. Therefore, the mass concentration is... Therefore, we go for the molar concentration. Here we are using the relationship between molar concentration and mass concentration. Where the molar mass of hydrochloric acid is 36.5. 
approximately will give us if you notice i'm leaving my answers in three significant figures then from the equation and what we have actually gotten now we can make use of the formula because we know va we know vb we know na we know nb and we now have the ca here with us that we can make use of the equation in order for us to get the concentration of solution b so we go this becomes make cv the subject formula we will have you can see cb stands alone there we have a certain the values we will have leaving the answer to three significant figures we will have let's go for the b part the b part asks us to go for the concentration of pure sodium hydroxide in gram per dmq the first one was in mole per dmq now we are going to make use of the relationship between the mass concentration and molar concentration with the molar mass Okay, we know that the molar mass of sodium hydroxide is gotten by 23 plus 16 plus 1, which will give us 40. Combining the relationship between mass concentration, molar mass, and molar concentration, we will make mass concentration the form, uh, subject of the formula, and we will have, it gives us 4.8 gram per dmq. Now, we have gotten the concentration of solution B in gram per dmq. That is for the pure sodium hydroxide that reacted with the acid then we still have uh, to get the concentration of impure solution in gram per dmq so that we can be able to get our percentage purity so we go concentration of impure solution in gram per dmq will be if you notice that the total that is seven grams of impure that we're going to have seven grams in one dmq that is what we have over here so the answer gives us seven gram per dmq the percentage purity has to do with Pure sample mass concentration all over impure sample mass concentration times 100 all over 1. We go, we have, leaving it to three significant figure, we will have the answer to be, okay? That's the end of this question. Remember what I told you? Don't forget to ask your own school teacher some questions and he or she will do much, much uh, explanation for you on this. Thank you very much for watching this video with me to this extent and I urge you that you subscribe if actually you are being inspired on what you see over in this video and make sure you comment, like and share the links of this video to anyone around you. Thank you very much for doing that.